Hello, it's the 80s Colin Danby here, and today I'm going to be reviewing two games. <laughs> yeah, two games. Armour, gold, base, wall. And fortunately, Daniel Robertson isn't here. Yes, he is. Oh my god, it is! Daniel Robertson! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the Creep is Anonymous oh. and the Yogs Cats. Say it louder. The Creep is Anonymous and the Yogs Cats. That's it. God, I had to say it. Shit, you fucking lie on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, he's my special guest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I wouldn't say I'm that special. Would you like to review gold, or should I review it? I shall. There you go. This game is an army simulator from 2007. Is it now? Why, yes it is. And a bit of knowledge for you is that this used to be called... Operation Flashpoint! My mind went blank then. It has... Williams, Armed Assault, and the Queen's Gambit! Oh god, why did I just do that? Don't do that impression. Very wrong! I started sounding Jamaican instead of how I was trying to sound. I'll be back. Okay, hurry back. Um, it is a either 18 or a 16. The graphics that you need are a minimum of... 8600 GT, or if you're using ATI Radeon 3650, I've come confused now. This game. If you have great graphics card, it's bloody awesome. Yeah, like me, who actually has a 9800 GT. Fucking awesome, yes. Sorry about the language. You should have a, one of those beeps on TV, you know. What, you know, like this? Beep! Yes. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Apparently, the graphics you need is better than I actually have. <laughs> well, but your game can play Armour 2, can it? Yeah, I can play Armour 2, which has DZ, which is better than this. <sighs> this is actually quite bad, actually. It's okay. I don't mind you, it. It's okay if you've got a good computer, but it's bad if you don't, because... But you haven't actually played it, have you done? I've not played this one, but i played Armour 2. Yeah, I don't know. Might be good. Yeah, this one's kind of bad if you have a bad computer because instead you of have hell, instead you of have hell. yeah, instead of sounding like how we sound now, it'd be like how are you doing today? Like my robot. Yeah, it sounds all jumpy and glitchy, and it looks all jumpy and glitchy. What did you say? I was joking. <laughs> joking it. No. Oh right. Um. What yeah. else do you want to say about it? Don't get this, get Armour 2. And Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. So either Combined Operations or Armour X Anniversary Edition, which you get this with. And you also get the first one, which was... Cold Salt. I mean, Cold War Salt. But it was Operation Flashpoint first, then they changed it to Armour. How strange! Yeah. Very strange. Very confusing, actually. Oh, yeah. Shit, we've got an hour. Oh, sh... <laughs> actually, we've got four, 55 minutes. We're fine, it's just over there. That's where the bus station is? Okay. Over right. there. Anyway, um, I rate this game 7 out of 10. Mainly because it's not as good as Armour 2, which got a 10 out of 10 in ratings. And it doesn't have DZ on it. Yes. Now, my review now is Faces of War. Faces of War. Faces, Faces of War. war. Looks at the face. Faces, Faces of, war. of War. Now, this is supposed to be set in World War Two, an RTS game, which is awesome RTSs. Like the first ever RTS. <laughs> first ever RTS I am um, played is Army of Men. And then the Army Men, Sergeant. Sergeant, something. He's green, green soldiers and tan soldiers. It's great. It was a great game. Sergeant, green. Sergeant that's it. Um, Sarge. Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, this is an RTS game, which is set in World War II, and you have different campaigns in it. The Germans, or the Nazis, but actually the Germans, because Nazis are horrible. Horrible. They're evil. They're fucking evil. They and, killed loads and of the people. And the Russians, Great campaign. The Germans have a great campaign. 
Americans, they, they can't suck. <laughs> Not that. What? There's no British in there. Oh, no, that's true. No, actually, you do help the British. Yeah, but you don't play as the British. The Americans always seem to take over as being playable. That's alright. They're, they're good. Get it's a good game anyway. Um, it came out in two thousand six, and uh, I bought it in the shop at this place called KPS in Bridgewater. Go there. It's hundred percent good. It's in England. Yes. So if so you're you in can't America, go there. So if you're in America, don't go to KPS in Bridgewater because you'll have to either get a boat over here or a plane. A boat? Yeah. Take forever. A boat like a ferry. Yeah, but they don't do that. A cruise ship. Back in the old days, it was really stupid. Um, sorry about that. Um, I was going to say... We've started being quiet again, haven't we? I forgot now, <laughs> I forgot. Um, um <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? That didn't work. Uh, <laughs> can we go to the other one? No, let's just go with this one. Just to say something important. Yeah. So yeah, this game's great. Um, you have yeah four campaign no, three mm. campaigns and well we go from D Day, Battle Bulge, Berlin, Russia, Germany. Bl- no, you can't go to Blitz. Oh. That's in London. Oh. That'd be cool actually. If it was but have yeah. you noticed they don't include England in a lot of games? No, they do. Hidden and hidden and dangerous. Oh. Well, they, well they had a okay. Um, well, they have a sequel called Men of War, which is like after Faces of War. I have it, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Um, and uh, well, you can go, you can do anything you want in the missions, but you have to do objectives though. So you can drive a car. Vehicle or a tank, um, uh, shoot where you can be stealthy, you can do demolition. You can also, environments are breakable. Excellent. No, 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 it's so resistant. The environment's breakable, everything's breakable, destructible. Even people's faces. Yeah, right. No, okay. no, no. Well, actually, you can actually. You just look at the blood. people's faces are breakable. The faces of war are breakable. <laughs> yeah. Right, anyway. Um, right. So, um, I rate this game 8 out of 10. Okay, right. That's so what did you rate this game? I forgot. 7. 7 out of 10. <laughs> now for a quick bit of advertising, watch The Creeps Anonymous and The Yogs Cast. Yogs Cast? Yes. Funny name. It is, Even it? the 80s Colin Danby, watch me. And thank you for looking at my um, my videos. Um, they've got like lots of views on them. And thank you very much. And one of them likes them. Now, eat your greens. Brush your teeth. And um, do lots of exercise. And have a good Easter. Eat lots of chocolate. And then exercise. Exor- melt it down and make it into a gun. Okay, that's just stupid. Just melt it all and make it into one big chocolate bar. That way, it's less calories. Yes. <laughs> little Britain for you. Yeah. And if you cut um, it in half, it's less the calories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little Britain, that quote. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's funny, that was. That's stupid. Always do what your parents tell you. If you don't live with your parents, then get a job. Yeah, get a job. <laughs> Get a job. Have a good Easter, Get everyone. And thank you for Do watching and listening. And goodbye from Colin in the eighties, Colin Danby, Daniel Robertson, the dwarf of the Creeps Anonymous, and a member of the Yogs cast. Goodbye and good luck in your life. And have a good Easter. Happy Adios. Easter, everyone. Adios, amigo.